brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Benguet University professors Dr. Carol May Nina and Dr. Gigi Bonas here to share indigenous knowledge of the Cordilleras, a mountainous region in the Philippines that's home to the indigenous Igrots, the mountain range, the ancestral domain of the people of the mountains. Bonas and Nina say the region has a shared history of resisting invading imperial powers from Spain, the U.S., and Japan. The women tell KUAM News that missionaries were able to bring Catholicism to the region, but indigenous Cordilleran culture put its own mark on the practicing of that religion, similar to how Guam mixes Chamorro superstitions and beliefs with Christian dogma. We are practicing a combination of Roman Catholic beliefs mm -hmm. and also our traditional beliefs. We call that folk Catholicism. Banyas and Nina are speaking before the University of Guam's Chamorro Studies and Division of Social Work. Banyas' lecture will focus on Igrots of the Cordilleras, cultural practices and beliefs with an emphasis on food and dance. Nina will lecture on indigenous healing worldview in the Cordilleras. Dr. Nina, a social psychologist, says much of her work is documenting indigenous healing practices, both medicinal and spiritual. But as older generations pass on, Nina says she'll focus on how to encourage the young to carry on practices done out of respect to elders, even after those elders pass. So that's why the challenge uh, nowadays is to document it mm -hmm. and to pass it on to the next generation, especially when I'm teaching my uh, mm -hmm. college students and I ask them, do, do you know about the values, beliefs of the indigenous people that you belong to? Mm -hmm. Most of them would, not, uh, would say they don't know. So there's a challenge nowadays to strengthen mm. the passing on of this indigenous beliefs and values. The women have also made their way around the island meeting with Chamorro cultural practitioners who mirror their dedication. They thank UOG's Dr. Lisa Natividad, who the professors met at an indigenous leadership seminar in New York. Their trip to Guam is a continuation of shared experiences between our island and the Cordilleras. They came to the Philippines and explore also our culture. So this is part two of it. So we came here also to uh, lecture on the indigenous knowledge of the Cordilleras. Since we have similarities in terms of uh, culture and uh, history. Bonas and Nina tell KUAM they'll also share how indigenous healing of trauma plays an integral part in modern Cordilleran life. Bonas also says food, an enormous part of culture, and she'll share stories of how ceremonial preparation of dishes is still valued today. Both women agree that while they do their work, they feel they're also being aided by their ancestors. The ancestors are doing their way. They <laughs> transfer the knowledge to the young ones. Thus, there are healers who are uh, teenagers. Okay? Maybe it's the power of the ancestors to pass to their grandchildren. So there are young healers who will uh, eventually continue okay, the indigenous knowledge. For Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett reports. Brought to you by GTA. We start with you.